Hi everyone, welcome back to AI News. My name is Ethan and today we have some special guests. Last episode, we have the mom of these amazing kids. Look at them. Manly, girly. Why are you so tall, dude? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, without further ado, let's introduce each and every one of you. Let's start with ladies first. Um, so my name is Tiffany. Um, I am, I guess, the teacher of the homeschool co-op called Rooted. And uh, is that it? Uh, you want to introduce your mom too? Your mom said a lot um, of good things about you. My mom's name is Lily. Okay. <laughs> and, and then you? Uh, my name is Vincent. Uh, I'm the, the youngest member of this group and I just joined this year. Like I started my homeschool journey this year and um, my mom's Sunny. Mm. And you sir? Hi, I'm Oscar and I'm actually the teacher's brother. I've been homeschooling since the beginning of junior high and I'm a senior in high school right now. Oh. Do you like your teacher being your sister? Yeah, it's, it's very, um, <laughs> it's different, but it's, it's very nice. All right. Well, to everyone's surprise, everyone here speaks Chinese. So uh, please, everyone, introduce yourself a little bit in Chinese. How's that? Yeah, show everyone your Chinese skills. All right. Yeah. Um, Vincent. program. Oscar. Um, <laughs> Why do we even go first? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, yeah we we'll, we'll get some practice on that. Oh, hi, sister. Tiffany. <laughs> the the reason for this episode is that a lot of parents are scared that uh, if their kids go to homeschool, they're not gonna be as competitive as the one that's in public school. But you all went to public school and homeschool and private school too. So, uh, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think you lost your competitiveness uh, in homeschool? This is my first year in homeschool, so it's kind of new to me. But I think, like in general, competition for me isn't like really the the most like important thing because if you're all competing for like the same thing, it's like kind of like boring. I, I don't want to say boring, but um, it's like just that pretty bland. So I think you, you really want to like strive for a more d deeper sort of perspective into this this uh, ed education thing and maybe like have a more biblical idea of it instead of just competing and having like, oh, you get really good grades, you go into a really good school. You have to have a more biblical worldview on this and say, what, what would God want me to do in this situation? Or um, is this school right for me? Is, is this school have the same I ideology as me? I think that's really what, what I'm looking for. Can, can anyone imagine this is from a 14 years old? <laughs> when I was 14, I was worried about Pokemon cards. Yeah, you guys know it's not okay. Well, I heard your story. Uh, your parents told me uh, you said you want to start homeschool by yourself. Why, why, why did you want it to be homeschool instead of public school? I mean, with everything that's going on in the world, I think um, it's going to be kind of hard to teach um, a biblical worldview like Vincent was saying um, and so I've thought about public school and I'm not opposed to it um, and I think if the Lord wants me in public school like I, I'd be totally down but um, I just feel like there's such a need for teachers in the homeschool world um, and as we've seen in recent years I feel like the homeschool world is getting bigger and we just need um, that sort of push or that sort of like lead in the homeschool world. Well, sir, I saw your presentation today. It was about some a hard topic most people don't understand. I don't even want to go call it adult or children. Why did you pick that topic? Because it, I, I don't think anyone in public school will pick that kind of public. What makes you uh, think you have the freedom to say something like that? It's just history. So basically, just 
learning from history and applying it to the future. So as we saw in socialism, many countries fell to communism, socialism, and still to this day, they are suffering those consequences. Mm -hmm. So um, we use history to basically learn. And I chose it so not only me or my, my friends, but the parents and everybody to basically be informed and to prepare for what has come and what will come. So um, yes, it might sound scary, but it's very important to know and to simply trust in God. Does your religious belief uh, want you to do homeschool more instead of like public school? You, do you think you can be a good Christian in the current public school right now? I believe that if God calls you to be this light and salt, yes, <laughs> to be the leader, I, yes. I'm not against public school, but you have to know, not in, just in this topic, but in life, you always have to have a purpose, whether it's making your bed, whether it's cooking or whatever, whatever. So in school, you can't just be going to public school just because of your friends, just because of this. There has to be a purpose, maybe for your career, your life. So for homeschool, it's very important to basically connect the relationship with the family because mm -hmm. everything starts with the family. Why do you think our country today has fallen is because at the home, at the dinner table. Can anyone believe that an 18 years old is talking about purpose? Let's hear from a 14 years old. Okay. Now, purpose, as Christian, we all talk about purpose-driven life, mm -hmm. and we want to find that purpose. I have to say that throughout my middle school, throughout my high school, throughout college, my only purpose is to get girls. And that is the wrong purpose. Don't learn from me. Learn from this 14 years old right now. So uh, please. When I first started, like, it really kind of cleared out all like the distractions mm -hmm. from the outside world. Because in school, you would have a lot of different things like, oh, this, this student would be doing something really, like, really bad. And you would hear everyone talking about it and things. And it would just like pose a, a daily distraction for me. And um, that would definitely disrupt my learning. But in homeschool, really, it's just yourself. And another thing, you're, the friends you have in homeschool is, is like real friends. And they, they have the same ideas as you. They, um, they're really close to you. And like, especially, especially these two right here, they've been really good um, friends to me, almost like siblings, you know? And so um, I feel like just being homeschool, you're surrounded by people with your same ideology and they can relate to you. And so really it equips you better to be ready for the real world because once you, you've been fully equipped in homeschool and you go out there, like the, the rumors or like um, ideas of the world, they can't, they can't hit you. Like you're gonna, you're gonna block them because you already know what's right. Yeah. A life lesson from a 14 years old. Can you believe it? <laughs> well, you said about friends. Um, a lot of parents, they're afraid that Oh, if I homeschool my kids, they're going to have some social problems, social issue. They, they don't know how to speak to others. Uh, in a group community, like the whole school, they, you have this club, that club, that kind of thing. Da -da -da, girls talking to boys, boys talk, talking to girls and stuff like that. Does homeschool affect on that? And uh, does homeschool hurt your social skills in a way? Or you've been homeschool and uh, public school and Christian school uh, all the way. Please uh, expand on that idea. Does it hurt? your social skill? Um, no, not really. Um, I think honestly, like it just depends on what type of homeschool program you're looking at. Many different um, types. You could do completely virtual learning. You could do uh, what we're doing is a co-op where we meet once a week. And, um, and it's only for a couple hours, but I feel like, like Vincent was saying, like we have bonded and like got these great relationships and we all majority go to the same church and now we all say, say hi to each other at church, you know? Um, and there's homeschool programs that meet even more than once a week. They meet twice a week or three times a week. And um, there's just, it just depends on what you're looking for. If you want that, you know, isolation type, um, which I know a lot of people, like you said, um, are kind of terrified of the idea of homeschooling because it's isolation. 
there's other avenues and there's other groups. I want to say like these two just went to a prom last week. Prom? Um, yeah. Homeschool have prom? Yeah, like there's the. You're 14 years old and you went to prom? <laughs> I didn't ask anybody out. Oh, okay. I'm just hanging out with my bros, you know? Oh, yeah. oh wow. Yeah. You just got the, the height of the 18 years old and you went to prom? <laughs> That is cheating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, like, it just depends on what homeschool program you go to because, I mean, our, our program is a little bit too small to have a prom, but we just kind of bandwagon on another close friends and um, they were welcoming to us because that's kind of like how the homeschool community is. You kind of just know everyone and... You're actually, more, it sounds to me like it's actually more sociable. You actually get to talk to people that you normally wouldn't talk to, like from other school. Like I never, when I was in middle school, I never talked to the other person in other middle school mm -hmm. and I wouldn't know them. And we were like, oh, my sports team beats yours, stuff like that. But it sounds like you get to interact with actually more people and you know that they are in the same boat as you and they have the same ideology they have the same belief they have the same value as you because we're all christian here how much does homeschooling emphasize on the value system like does it is it in the textbook or is it more from parents well when you homeschool you can basically you basically pick what you learn so as like what we're doing, we're doing a classical based on a biblical teaching. So um, yes, it is much better. I mean, let's say you go to a public school, you don't really know what they're indoctrinating your, your beliefs in or what's they're, what they're putting in, in the textbooks. So when you homeschool, you basically, you pick your books, you read them, you answer questions, you have textbooks, but they're all based on a classical Christian Point of view. Mm. I think in terms of values, what I'm learning right now is definitely very different from the ones I'm learning at school and in, in public school. Really, it's just Christian and we have to have the right like sort of morals on what is right and wrong. And I think also not just not just this class, but like my mom helped me a lot in that because like she would bring me to all these like different maybe sermons and things that would um, touch on these these topics. And it really just sort of gave me that information and made me learn what's, a lot of the things that I learned, like I didn't even know when I was in public school. So mm -hmm. I feel like it just gave me more of like a wide wider vision on what this world is like. Because I, I was never homeschooled before. And I just think about the idea and uh, I want to homeschool my kids. Do you think homeschool is for everyone or is for certain groups of people? Like every parent can do it or you see something like, ah, oh, if your child is like that, don't homeschool them. That's kind of tough because I've definitely thought about this for sure. Um, and I think as a parent, if you're wondering about whether you want to homeschool your kids, something that I remember my dad telling my mom when, he, when she was thinking of homeschooling us was um, you better be ready because you're going to be learning more than they are. Mm. and um, it's definitely not an easy task. There's been a lot of crazy, tiring, blood, sweat, and tears kind of nights um, because it's not easy. Like the, the parent is teaching what a panel of teachers would have to teach their kid, um, and so it's definitely not easy, and um, I want to say I don't recommend it for everyone, but then again, like the other options are public school, so... <laughs> Um, just know that it's not going to be like easy breezy, you know, when you first start, but it, it can only get better from there. So unless you have, you already have a child that's homeschooled and then you can squeeze in your second child, <laughs> you know, basically for free. Yeah. Do you guys learn the same uh, curriculum just because she picked the curriculum before? <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it in the beginning, homeschool really emphasize on the family and try to save the family. Uh, do you think your you have your relationship is better uh, with homeschooling? Is it better than uh, when you're in pub public school? I would say well, definitely yes, uh -huh. but I wouldn't. I because I don't have that much experience in public school. I only went to public school in elementary school, uh -huh. but yes, hundred percent because spend more time with your family, um, you interact more, and even in this previous project, my mom was helping me. Like almost for half of the project. And obviously now my sister is my teacher. So it's 
much more comforting. And we all have, as Vincent said, we're all based on the same ideology. Um, it's not like I'm coming home and I'm disagreeing with my parents to compare it to what the textbooks in public school says. We're all on the same page, on the same book. So mm -hmm. it's very nice. If you're an older sister and you want your kid brother to listen to you, become his teacher. He have to listen to you. Uh, what, what about you? Do you think you have a closer relationship with your mom after uh, mom and dad after you're in homeschool or? Yeah, definitely. Because um, since I started homeschool, we started going to places a lot. So for example, I would um, have to go to tennis a lot more because that's one of the reasons I actually went homeschool because I wanted to have more time to, to play tennis. And so my mom would drive me every time and then we would have a lot of like very, very deep conversations on the car ride and everything. And I think I, I really like the way um, homeschool allows that. And my dad, who recently just like freed up his schedule a lot, um, I'm getting to, to know him better a lot and to start um, taking part in fellowship with him because for a while he wasn't too close uh, in terms of his relationship with God. And I want to try to to bring him closer to, to, to Christ, like, yeah, and, and have fellowship with him, so basically, yeah. Wow, big task. Wow. Yeah. Get your father closer to Christ. That is amazing. Yeah, what about you? Do you think, how, how does it affect your relationship with your family member? Yeah, so like, <clears throat> when I was homeschooled, for sure, like I was only homeschooled three years. Three years. So, um, yeah, so a majority of my life I've been in public school, and I only took one year in private school. Um, but I definitely believe, like both of um, these guys are saying, like, homeschool definitely brings the family together. Um, I basically call my mom my best friend. I tell her everything. Um, and it's not because, like, she was my teacher and was teaching me, but it was because I genuinely wanted her advice on certain things. And because we went to the same homeschool program or like Oscar was saying, we had the same ideologies, we were taught the same things, we would have family dinner and talk about things. And I got closer with my dad because when I was learning about, um, when I was learning about Ronald Reagan or about Mr. Churchill, like he would be telling me um, his personal experience of seeing what these guys were doing in history. and. Um, it's, it's just it's just a great way to um, unite the family, I think. Wow, that is amazing. There's a big question. I heard it from last episode uh, from your mom. She said that you guys didn't go through all the crazy stuff that teenagers go through. Not rebellious. You didn't go out and do drugs and stuff like that. Do you think you are who you are today? As a family, you guys made a decision to take back the education authority from the government do you think that actually helped you because you have the abilities to go through very rebellious uh, teenage years uh, how come you don't have that rebelliousness in you so homeschool isn't perfect obviously uh -huh. and public school isn't either but homeschooling definitely makes it clear to have a strong foundation so obviously once you have a strong foundation you can face as many problems as you can or you want and still not get affected. Mm -hmm. So just because the world follows things and it's like a normal way, like why do we have to do that? Like just because it's popular to do something or it feels nice or whatever, it's not the right thing to do. So once we're on a strong foundation rooted in Christ, then we have the truth in our hearts and we can basically determine what is right and almost right, which is basically wrong in like a pleasant way of saying it. In the biblical example, like we can't be the sheep because once the first sheep goes down the cliff, everyone's going to follow. So we have to simply have a good, strong foundation in the Word of God. What about you? I mean, you're 14, so you're about to enter a rebellious stage according to the world. Um, and you're talking about life lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've definitely had that time where Twice a week, we would, me and my mom would like get into like an argument or something. Sometimes I do bad on her project or I do too good on her project. I sleep at like four and she gets like mad at me. She's like, you can't do that anymore. Wait, what? Mom, mom, why? Because you're scared that he's not getting enough sleep and not get tall enough or something. <laughs> <laughs> She's more like, she can manage her actions better now. So basically what I'm saying is like, 
she changed and I changed, and now we're all good. That's and great. Life is good. God is good. Yes. That's great. That's great. <laughs> What about you? Been through public school and private school and homeschool. You probably have a lot of friends that was in public school and they go through teenage year and where they're really rebellious. What's your thoughts on that? I guess it's kind of crazy to grow up with certain friends and then go to two, three different schools and then reconnecting with some friends and just realizing how different and how just like surprising, like how close you were to that type of life. Yeah. And that's what makes me like really grateful for my mom for pulling me out. And she pulled me out like in the middle of high school. Um, I think it still would have been such a different outcome if I stayed. One, I wouldn't probably have been doing this for one thing. I wouldn't have probably made genuine friendships I have today. We want to learn the success story, but we also want to know how bad could it be? Yeah, I had a friend where it's like, yeah, she got pregnant when she was 19. And it was kind of crazy to see that. And, you know, she's doing great and I wish her the best. I don't know, it's just kind of crazy to like think about people that you grew up with. And this is a girl that went to private school. Yeah, just like things like that, you know, <laughs> and I'm not trying to like put the fear mongering of, oh, this is what could happen if your kid's in public school, because um, it happens to homeschoolers, too. It just depends, you know, um, it depends on the type of kid and what type of school. But it's just that you could be exposed to that so much more in public school and you wouldn't have that control as in homeschool, you, your kids in your house. Like you, there's not yeah. much opportunity, you know, to get access to those type of things. Well, a lot of parents watch our video and uh, they're thinking about homeschool. As kids that went through homeschool, is there anything you want to say to the parents for thinking about homeschool? So what I just really want to say to you guys is don't put too much pressure on us. I'm not saying that so I can get away with things, but really it's just, we can do it. All right, we have we have the discipline and we also have the motivation, but discipline is more important than that. And as long as we have that, you can achieve anything. You just have to be mindful of what you're doing and give your kids as much love as possible and give them the support and resources that they need to be a better student and a better person in general. And just be like a friend, a sister, a mother or a father, brother. All those to them in terms of Christ and just like follow them along, be behind their backs. For me, I'm a firm believer that the Lord has you where he wants you to be. And if I wasn't in public school from elementary and junior high and then private school in one year and homeschooled, like I wouldn't be where I am today. And even though like certain years were harder than others, whether they were in homeschool, private school, public school, the Lord still had me and the Lord still had me in his hand. And so like, if you're thinking about homeschooling, um, pray about it and see if the Lord guides you to certain opportunities, because if that's where the Lord wants you or where the Lord wants your child, he's going to lead you to there. And um, it's going to be very clear. I believe it's certainly what God has for you. If you want to do homeschool, obviously don't be afraid because in life, not just in homeschool, but in life, you're going to have fears, you're going to have doubts. But what will that benefit you? In? Nothing, basically. So if you have God on your side, then you should basically not be afraid of anything. And even if you fail, you still have God on your side. And it really depends on simply how you handle the situation. For example, I've told Vincent this before, that someone can be complaining oh, I don't have time in the day, I have too much homework. Or another person can be a single mom, can work two jobs, still provide for the family. So it's really how you persuade the problem and simply to not really put fear first, but to put trust in God. Don't get hung over by fear. I think that is the most, you, you took my line. I was thinking about it. I was, like, I was like, okay, don't want to talk about this. I can say this. And then you're like, don't look at that. Give me the last punch. Well, but yeah, for all the parents and all the kids, don't let fear dictate what you can do and where you can go with homeschooling. Take the education back, especially if you're in California right now. It's a dangerous place here. Like you said, homeschool is not for everyone. But if it's your calling, which should be everyone's calling because you're, you're a parent, you should take control of your kid's education. You should not give education's authority to anyone other than yourself. No one care about your kids like you do. So as a parent myself, 
I will homeschool my kid and I think I will make the best decision for her than any parent, than any teacher, than any educational expert in the world. And from today, seeing these three, the big difference between this interview and the mom's interview is that they mentioned God so many times. We talk about fear of the Lord. These people got it. These people have it. So if you want your kids to be disciplined, fear God, you got a decisions to make. Or you can uh, follow uh, California's LGBTQIA++ ideology. Yeah, so thank you guys for coming. My name is Ethan. My name is Oscar. Vincent. Tiffany. Thank you guys for watching. I've definitely learned a lot between these two episodes and especially from these kids. I want to emphasize again, he is 14 and he think like that. And he is 18. He think like that. She's 20. Blows my mind. Thank you guys for watching. Hope these two episodes helped you guys. See you next time.